what's up YouTube it's another hundred plus degree day slash night so I am messing with the Falcon again I am finally cutting the floor out of it so I trimmed down the other frame down this is still a rough cut so I left extra metal because it's easier to trim it than it is to try to replace it unless you got all the tools which I don't so that is where I'm at is Trimming shit down enough to figure out how much of a fine trim I need to do and then I'll worry about do I need to buy or borrow better tools to get where I need to get to get this fit. So let's flip this around and show you what I've got. So here's the Miata frame. Cut down severely. I still left a little extra so I can trim it down so I'm not quite on the frame rails. Shock towers are pretty close to where they should be and to build it up and then snub the nose off a little bit uh, shy of the sway bar mounts because I'm going to have sway bars then on the Falcon here you see the floor is cut out I left the frame rails I tried to do just one clean cut so a grinder wheel worked better than the sawzall the sawzall wandered a lot so I still want my motor or bumper bracket. So there's uh, one bolt for the bumper bracket. And then I just kind of cut as whatever I needed to get it off. Yes, the firewall is cut at quite a slant, but you know, I didn't want to mess up uh, the heater box thing because I don't know if I'm using that one or the Miata. Um, that is the choke, so who cares? I will take the brake cylinder off sooner or later, but it is kind of holding the pedals, so I left that in place. And on the inside here, since the floor was so shoddy, I used, and it actually worked pretty good, was this uh, whiteout pen. And all those little white dots are my lines. That over there, what happens when I try to use uh, the sawzall? It wandered, it wandered. So I'm like, all right, cutting blade. So as you see, my pedals are still all attached. So I'm okay there. And then this is still a little bit um, of the wall left. I wanted to leave this here to keep the, the floor kind of still stiff stiff since I'm getting in and out of the car and then yeah it is hot so some people might be like oh you should brace the front end yada yada well I pretty much know where it should be and I won't finally you know I'll tack everything up make sure the fenders fit and shit lines up before I finally weld it but that is where we at. Cut the frame rails. As you can see, there's still a little chunk on both sides. So I was kind of hoping to cut a little bit more into the tunnel there, but chose not to. Yes, the gas line's still hooked up, but I unhooked all the tabby, so it's just laying there. So. I will end up making that a straighter line because, uh, yeah, the new tunnel's pretty tall and yeah, it did wander a little, but hey, whatever, you know, ah, smoother firewall looks nice anyway, so I will fix that up. So I'll probably pull the frame rails out, maybe try to roll in the old uh, bottom here and let's see what it looks like. So as you see, What's left of the frame rail, lines up with that rail, goes there. Now, it's not totally where it needs to be. Now, as you can see, it needs to go back at least like half a foot or so. At least half a foot. So you see where the shot towers go back half a foot. Well, that should fit pretty good. <clears throat> fumble, fumble. So, figure. Six inches more. What is that to here? 
All right, so it's more like five and a half still. Go five and a half. That's like center. They're looking pretty good. That side, you know, I did trim a little further up. I definitely have to trim that one down. But it's beginning to line up. The only other problem is I got to cut out so much more floor. Now going back, it's going to go probably to the back seat pretty much. Uh, so I see this one. I don't know what the hell. Maybe it's just me, but swoops to the right. Swoop to the right. And so, you know, it is what it is. I didn't hack it up too bad so I could patch stuff. So, as you see, e brake is buried, so I'm assuming. Let's figure this out. So, we are right by the seat belts. And there's the seat belt. So, I need to cut all that out another 20 inches or so. And then, should be okay. Now I said I'm keeping the factory pedals for now. So all that should come up. And you can definitely see that full tunnel thickness difference. And then I was also seeing online some people said they got to hammer the wall a little bit bigger. So we'll see. For shits and giggles, I still got this. Uh, this is bell housing. I can take measurements off of that. You know, the TKO, turmeric, whatever. So I can figure out from there. Yeah, do I really need to make it wider? Once everything is welded in, like I said, I will do the trimming of those. That way, in the future, when I do go V8 or whatever, I'll have the space because, you know, I'm going to end up welding. Yeah, welding up the firewall and everything, patching it, and grinding it, and smoothing it, and you know, the shock towers here, you know, these all need to be drilled out the rivets, and patched, and blended, and smoothed, and I think it's going to come out pretty awesome. So, um, that's it for now. Um, it's hot, it's late, um, don't want the neighbors, you know, calling the cops on me, but there we are floor is under the floor <laughs> but we're getting there we are getting there almost uh, like subscribe shoot me questions I answer pretty fairly quick it's either about what I'm doing here um, I am NOT a rotary guru but I know enough to Google and from past experiences what I've done and what I've blown up and what hasn't blown up so yeah, I'm still thinking maybe a Series 6 motor in here. I mean, the RX-8 motors are dirt effing cheap right now, so that might be an option. I mean, old little Falcon screaming 9,000 RPMs, that'd be interesting, real interesting. But then again, the LS makes more power. It's cheaper. I mean, I'm curious what Rob Dom is doing because he said he's going to break all the myths and show show us what's up with what of the rotary so we're not scared about blowing monies out of shop and what works and what doesn't work but i also need something that uh gets okay gas mileage supposedly um but until then once again thank you very much